Welcome and greetings to all. I am Shen Long Pen Dragon, the Lore Master. As always, a quick disclaimer I don't own any of the images or the story in this video. The credit for these all belong to their original sources. So ladies and gentlemen, today we'll be starting the Ancient Persia uh, chapter or segment if you will. I do apologize for the huge delay in getting this video up. I actually had the slides ready about 3 or 4 weeks ago, but uh, due to unforeseen circumstances I was not able to do any kind of recording in those weeks. So uh, hopefully now that the video is up you will enjoy it. Uh, I do apologize for any background noise you might hear, that's my dog trying to get attention. So without further ado, let's actually move on. So most of the stories that I'll be doing in this segment are from the Legends of the 1001 Arabian Nights. Yes, this is in fact a real book made up of, as it suggests, 1001 stories. The Stories are primarily from Saudi Arabia and Persia and neighboring countries of the time. Now, please do bear in mind these legends are pre uh, Islamic Middle East, so this is long before the Prophet Muhammad uh, ever came around. So, the first legend from ancient Persia that I'm going to be doing for you guys today is Verathragna, the sun god of victory. Of all the ancient Persian gods, he is probably my favourite. I will cover his why uh, in a wee bit. He features very heavily in an anime known as Campione. Now, if you are an anime fan, I do highly recommend it. It is an excellent watch. Obviously, if you're not an anime fan, then you're probably going to want to switch off for that particular part. A lot of the images in this video are actually from the anime Campione. And that's because it is incredibly difficult to get any pictures of Verathragna at all. There's minimal artwork of him and most of the statues that were erected of him have been destroyed over thousands of years. So, without further ado, let's move on. The Persian Empire. From the deserts of the Middle East it began, stretching to Macedonia in the west, to Egypt in the south, the Hindu Kush in the east, and the Arl Sea in the north. This was an empire forged on blood and conquest, a mighty desert kingdom which none could defeat. The poetry prowess of the Persian Empire was legendary. Wherever they went, they conquered with few being able to stop their rapid advance. It was only with the rise of the Greek forces that the Persian Empire finally start to see its downfall, finally being defeated by Alexander the Great. Yet what gave the early Persian Empire such a good advantage in battle? What made them undefeated? They marched with the sun at their backs, for they marched under the grace and watchful eye of Verathragna, the sun god of victory. Verathragna takes on many forms, for he has no true one form. These are known as his ten avatars. The first avatar, the White Stallion. This fiery steed brought death upon the battlefield, bringing forth divine retribution on any that stood in the path of the Persian Empire. The second avatar, the Boar. With its destructive force and power, the Boar would charge the enemy lines, scattering them smashing entire cities to rubble. With a shriek, the third avatar descends from the sky, wings 
spread wide, talons ready to rip the enemy apart. For no hunter is as swift as the bird of prey. The fourth avatar takes the form of the wind itself, the gale. With devastating hammer-like blows, it knocks men flat on their backs, carrying forth the desert sands to obliterate all in its path. The fifth avatar takes the form of a goat, powerful and strong, its horns generate lightning crashing down from the heavens upon the enemy, scattering them and sending them scurrying for caves and buildings, praying not to meet the god's wrath. The sixth avatar, the bull. With an unparalleled strength, any that stand before the bull are not to sight as if they were ragdolls unworthy of facing the god in battle. The seventh avatar, the boy. The youthful boy spreads love and peace among his people, offering divine protection and healing to any that would serve Arathragna. The eighth avatar, the ram. Steadfast and sturdy, the ram can bring about any healing upon oneself, allowing Verathragna to heal from even the most grievous wounds that would have killed any other god or mere mortal. The ninth avatar, the camel. With strong legs, the camel struts across the desert, unimpeded by the heat. With powerful kicks, he will knock aside any that stand before him. At last, we come to the tenth and final avatar, the deadliest of them all, the warrior with the golden sword. Why does the deadliest avatar take the form of a mere man holding a sword? because the true form of victory is the warrior itself. He who fights upon the battlefield, protecting those he loves and destroying those he hates. For that is the true essence of victory. The blade he holds is no mere weapon, for it has the divine power to cut straight through a god's divinity, rendering them powerless as their authorities are severed. This is the sword forged to slay gods. And thus ends the legend of Verathragna. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then please remember to like and subscribe for more lore, myths, legends, and stories. A uh, very thriving story, as you can see, is not an overly long one, which is why this video is a fair bit shorter than most of my other uh, videos. I do apologize for the picture quality. I know some of those images were not exactly sharp, shall we say. Uh, can't be helped, I'm afraid. It is very difficult to get hold of any decent pictures of Verathragna, or who, which are relevant to Verathragna, as I said earlier. So just to let you know, uh, the three videos I'm toying with uh, for doing in the next uh, video are either Sinbad's story, Tiamat, the Dragon Mother, or the uh, Ram of Heaven. If any of those three appeal to you, then please do leave a comment in the uh, comment section. Or if there's a different story you would like me to do, then please do feel free to uh, note it down. Uh, there will be five videos for Ancient Persia to start off with. I will probably add more later on. Uh, 
I don't really think there's much more to say at this point, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, I am Shenlong Pendragon. And until next time, remember, knowledge is power.